Researchers from the University of Guelph are doing a deep dive on cow burps. That's because belching bovines release methane, which is a greenhouse gas contributing to global warming. As Matt Ingram reports, the research is helping farmers breed cows, which burp less, thereby emitting less greenhouse gas. They're saving the planet one burp at a time. Overall in Canada, probably one to three percent of the emissions are caused by dairy cows. But what we've seen is that there's quite a bit of variation between individual animals. So what we're looking to do is to find out which animals are really using their feed to produce milk and which ones are sort of burping it out. Christine Bays from the University of Guelph leads the Resilient Dairy Genome Project, where researchers working out of the Ontario Dairy Research Centre in Alora have developed a method to determine how much methane a cow will burp out. The research is being used by the dairy industry to select bovines for breeding that produce the same amount of milk as other cows but release less methane. Making Canada the first country in the world to officially select for methane efficiency. Bayes says reducing methane emissions from cows can make a difference in combating climate change because methane has a global warming potential 28 times that of carbon dioxide. And despite popular misconceptions, it's not the cow's rear ends that are causing the problem. About 95% of the enteric methane produced by ruminants comes out of the front end of the animals. The research is done by using what's called a green feed machine, where a cow is enticed to stick its head inside by a bit of food. The machine then takes about five minutes to measure the methane the cow is breathing out. Individual cows are brought to a special room for the testing. The cows are chosen by their days in milk. Uh, they come down here at approximately 150 days in milk and then go through the process of three times a day testing for a week long. This sprawling 175,000 square foot research facility is owned by the province and managed by the University of Guelph. The facility houses 500 cows with about half of them being used for research. Bay's project began in 2020 but grew out of research that started in 2014. She says there are no plans to stop. We know that, uh, that we can do a lot here and we can make a big impact. A paper published by her and her team say 14% of global human-made greenhouse gas emissions come from livestock. Reporting for CHCH News in Alora, I'm Matt Ingram.